Alternative Wrestling Association, the absolute best in CAW entertainment. Right, we're finally back here on Assault, episode 53. And folks, it's a few more episodes away now. Just a few more episodes of Assault, a few more episodes of Double X Factor until the Grand City Ball, Pain Williams 12. And of course, we'll be containing all the fallout. I love it first fire last CPU. A lot to go over, a lot of historic events that happened there for sure. A lot of events that we'll definitely remember for a long time. Glad you're here I'm with us this week. I'm Brock Chuck, of course. And it looks like we're going to pay a visit by the enforcer, Nick Willis, who's the owner of the Open Wrestling Association. And recent elite, the big CII of the YP, of course, he's the, the TM of Double X Factor. Nick Willis, the enforcer, tried to put that all aside. He knows that it's time to get his kid gloves off. We're it's up for the end of the path of pandemonium here. Ow! Oh! And you saw what that was first fight. It will be Quinn Rampage Jackson defending the UWA Championship against Planet X for the 2012 Super Bowl winner. Of course, we also know that Casey Hardy, after the French team of the system for Quero, will be defending the Women's Championship against Aaron Emmons. Two huge dream matches in headline this year's pandemonium for and we can tell it North Carolina, the Bank of America Stadium, live Sunday, May 6th. It's a little over a month and a half away from the biggest event of all time. It's a game for to say, and hopefully regards of this year's pandemonium.
my goodness, folks. There you have it, folks. Finally, it's been announced Brock Lesnar will undoubtedly be the special outside enforcer in the Planet X Rampage match at Pandemonium in the main event. And the force wasting no time to drop huge news involving Pandemonium. Oh my. We're kicking things off that triple threat match here at Nags. We heard the enforcer just say the winner of this match will be able to choose what match it's going to be at and this year's Pandemonium. Let's see how Murphy lost the match. He's a, he's a shoe in. Oh! What tense. The following contest is scheduled for one fall on his way to the ring. From Ozone Park, New York, he is Murphy Law. Of course, in this match, it'll be a cool threat match to call Murphy Law, the heavy hitter of the franchise nation. No, Alex would just perform the love for Murphy Law that number two in the game. Nemesis, vicious. What's up, Yuri and you have Yuri and Mitch also in action later on tonight. This is who thinks is Murphy Law and Pandemonium. We also have Keenan and Kel going up against the Suicidals later on. Now approaching Marin, hailing from Transylvania, he is the Enigma. Folks, if you saw what at first time, we saw a grueling matchup between the Enigma and Vaughn Creed. What's the special submission on that match? If the Enigma won, the Vicious is going to walk away free from the franchise nation. But Vaughn Creed won, and the Enigma would take Vicious' place in the franchise nation. And the Enigma was victorious in that match. So, of course, we know now that Vicious is no longer part of the franchise nation. And according to the Enigma, he confronted Vicious later on that night. He said the reason why he did it because he had a debt to pay. He said he did it because he had to make amends for it, for the crimes he committed in the past. And of course, the crimes he was referring to is still Vicious as a likeness here in the UWA to get a career for himself. But knowing Vicious, he didn't believe the motives behind the Enigma Tarkin Von Creed. Vicious pointed the finger and wanted to get a want to challenge the Enigma. So he'll try to be in place anytime he pleases. So far we have not heard from the Enigma. We haven't heard from his what his responses from Vicious yet. I'm sure he might in due time. Here he comes, Morton Magley also had his hands full. Check out the first fight involving Cinder. Cinder displaying his power. Check out the first fight. Kind of thwart the attempt for Morton Magley to fight his hands on him. Sure. Coming down the aisle, right out of Magneto, he's the Marauder of Judgment. Lord Magma! And through the also rumors flying around that Lord Magma that even challenged Cinder to a match at Pandemonium. Well, folks, that's what this match is all about. Lord of the like it's a name for the match that you can compete at a penalty and decide who they'll face at Pandemonium as well. Obviously, if Cinder wins, he's going to have the opportunity to challenge Cinder at Pandemonium. If the Enigma wins, he might possibly challenge Vicious. If Murphy Law wins, well, he has the mastery, he can do whatever he wants. 
we, we we know letter we already know later on tonight. And there's the bell. And we know later on tonight Yuri Mitch will be facing her to see who faces Murphy Law at Pandemonium. And we saw at first time that both these men are challenging Murphy Law for the master reign. But Murphy Law said he's not even gonna put the mask on the line. I guess if Murphy Law wins here tonight. And he'll decide what, what his fate will lie at Pandemonium if it even involves Yuri or Mitch for that matter. Of course, we have three big men in the ring here tonight. Obviously, three literally larger than life individuals, as the enforcer likes to put it. And speaking of the franchise nation, we also heard from the enforcer that until Pandemonium, that Alex Richards, the Millimus champion, will not have to defend. He's known as Championship, I guess later on tonight, the Enforcer will announce another match at Pandemonium involving Alex Richards, which I'm assuming will probably have the Millimits title on the line. Can we see what that match is all about? Back to the action here. Oh! Huge face buster by Murphy Law, setting Lord Magma up like, like as if it was nothing. Look at this, Murphy Law trying to pick his spot to go for the Enigma with back. Oh, it hits the big boot across his face there. That's the thing with these triple threat match. You have to pick your spots wherever you find necessary. You've got to be able to put away the, one of your opponents so you can pin your other opponent or make them tap out or, or knock them out without them trying to intervene. Oh, look at this. Wait, Murphy Law go for a ladder here. I guess the enforcer Nick Wilson decided this match will be a no disqualification. Anyway, that's a proper stipulation. I mean, this match has to have a winner in this matchup to try what's on the line. And you know these two men are not going to keep the match in the confines of the squared circle. But you know they're going to use weapons. That's what, makes these, that's, what, that's what makes these three men so dangerous. Look at this. Oh! Double choke slam by Murphy Law and the Enigma to Lord Magma there. And now look at this, you see Murphy Law going to tell the ladder. And we know what high flyers can do with the ladder, but also at the same time, you gotta admire what these big men can do with the ladder. They're just so destructive that they use these weapons to their advantage and use them as an unofficial tag team partner. Oh. I think Lord Magma has stopped Murphy Law. I think Murphy Law is about to send the Enigma on with that power on that ladder there. I mean, we know. I mean, just about the size of these men, the power they wield. Just having a ladder in their arsenal, they know that this destroy their opposition. Oh, look at this. Going for total mutilation here under the Enigma. Of course, a movie he's stole, but his words borrowed and tweaked from Broly, the same man that he just rated the UWA of. And because of what Murphy Law did to him, we haven't even seen Broly ever since. We haven't even seen him going for Jimmy Tart on perfect. So we haven't seen perfect sell since Murphy Law destroyed him back last year after Beach Party Slam. And now the Enigma's bringing the still steps into play. Oh, it exploded right on the ladder. It's folding down a lot like it's a piece of garbage. And I don't even know how Lord Mac was able to walk up from that one. And now Murphy Law falls with a power slam. And this match has got absolutely diabolical and dangerous between these three men here. 